camera just started flashing at me because it's evil sometimes. But I wanted to do a video that was requested and I wanted to get it right done. Well, it's fresh in my mind and I remember to do it, but about swimming. Will you do this video with me? Since you were the one who just learned how to swim? So I posted a video the other day, I'll link it below, of the boys, both Deacon and Drake, swimming for the first time. They got it on the exact same day and it just it just clicked. No, we've not been doing swimming lessons. I did swimming lessons with Deacon when he was six months old, which was basically just like 30 minutes of playtime in the water once a week for two months. Um, I didn't really learn how to swim, but it was just fun, like get kids acclimated to the water. And then three years ago when Drake was a baby, we did swimming lessons for two weeks. So that is the extent of our swimming lesson stuff. I was planning on putting him in swimming lessons that was actually on my calendar starting I think it was like next month because I'm like, oh, you know, he's six, he's six now, like he should be, you know, I want him to be swimming, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I don't really know what happened. I have no idea. But Deacon was like, I can touch. I'm like, you need your floaties. He's like, no, I can touch. I'll be okay. And like, he did that kind of in the pool. And that was the day that we went over to Megan's grandparents' house. And it was like the doughboy. And, and then I showed Drake um, kind of like swimming from like us to a kid, but like kind of weary. And that was that day. And I'm like, well, they seem to be getting more comfortable. And then the next day we went to like a pool party basically where we had like another little YouTube meetup and uh, we went to a pool party where, okay, backtrack just a little bit. So Drake was being a little jerk and just decided I was right there, but jump in the pool. And I almost kind of wanted him to like struggle for a second. So he got that fear, but instead he kind of proved me wrong. So there was that. So the next day we're at the pool party and I made Deacon wear his floaties because he got there before I did because they went golfing. He went golfing with the boys in the morning. And then um, I got there and he had his floaties on and I was like, well, if you want to try, like you can take them off. I'll be in the water with you. And he just took off, like just, just took off swimming. And I'm like, okay. So, um, do you want to tell us about that? No. Okay, so he's not going to tell us about it. So I'm like rocking Mommy, the here. And then, um, so he's six. Hold on, I'm in the middle of the video. Um, so he's six, and then my youngest son is three, and he, I had floaties on him, and he was doing great with his floaties, and then, um, kind of the same thing. He's like, I want to swim without him, and I'm like, oh, all right, like planning on just like supporting his belly or whatever, and he just took off. He just jumped in and just swam like crazy. So, I guess it just clicks, but it was the same day where they both were just like good. And they're not strong swimmers. Like I'm not, I'm not like, oh, they're, they're great swimmers now. They're, they're not, I mean, they, but they can jump in and they can swim all over the pool and they stay afloat. And yeah, like it was just, it was so bizarre. Was I so can bizarre. go underwater if I want to. It was, it was the craziest thing ever. They're, so they spent the whole day getting thrown in the water and like swimming, you know, to the edge or just swimming across the pool and diving rings. And I don't, I honestly, I dived in. I don't know what happened. <laughs> He's like a little diver. He's a great little diver. Um, so I guess, I guess the, the point of this video, cause I had a lot of people like ask, like, how did you do it? there was nothing. It just clicked. I think it's kind of like riding a bike. Like it just clicks. And at the same time, every kid does it differently. So you can't, I mean, my kids are three summers apart and they learn how to swim on the exact same day. I mean, they're three summers apart in age and on the same day they learn how to swim. Whereas Deacon was riding his bike. He was almost Drake's age when he started riding his bike without training wheels. And on the flip, Drake still can't pedal. But he learned how to swim three summers earlier. So um, if your kid's seven or eight or not swimming or if they're three and like nowhere close. Like you just, I mean, they're, they're all better at different things. So I guess that's the beauty of it. But I do have to say that I was kind of excited for Drake because Deacon is so athletically like gifted with everything else that, um, which I don't know. I, I think he is. Yeah. I think he is. And then his, his head kind of fills with comments from everybody else. <laughs> it is. But, um, it was neat that Drake, Drake kind of beat him in a way on that one. No offense, bro. You think it's kind of crazy your younger brother learned how to swim the same day you did? Yeah. What was in the water? I don't know, maybe it was the pool. <laughs> maybe it was in the pool or the confidence or... I have no idea. Maybe they just fed off each other or something. I have no clue, but it clicked from both on the same day. They just so. started swimming. I know, they just they just went, like, without anything. And they just went. It was amazing. We don't know what to say. Uh, I don't know what to say. Oh, you're messing up my braid. Alright, anyways, guys, that's it. Um... We are going to let's go see how Drake's doing. I think he's We're probably still. We're gonna go camping. We are. We're gonna meet my parents for the night and camp with my parents for the night. Um, it should be nice and packed. 
All right, that's it. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.